RANTED! Do we really need updates? Now, you're probably thinking, GM, what are you talking about? What do you mean updates? Now, I'm talking about the PC updates you get, as well as the Xbox dashboard updates you get, as well as games as well. So, the problem I've got with... Um, it's more to do with the PC updates and uh, console updates than the game updates, but even still they're quite annoying as well. So when I'm talking about the PC updates, I'm talking about when like you turn your computer on, or should I say turn it back off, um, you get an update saying, we need to update this, and you're like, okay, that's fair enough, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do, I'm, I'm sure this is helping me in some sort of way. Um, I'm not sure how, but it is. So it's helping me. So I'm going to turn my computer off. It's going to update everything and I'm going to be up to date with all the um, software and stuff. That is good. But when you get an update for PC and it completely takes out all your streaming equipment, like for example, one time after the update, my uh, keyboard stopped working. I had another update, my microphone in stopped working. I had another update, my webcam started not to work. Why? why you know, shouldn't the updates are there to help you? But it's like when you update something, it doesn't help you at all. It actually does the complete opposite. It helps you with the software stuff, but when it comes to hard the hardware stuff, it's just like no 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 no. Anything that's connected by USB, it's just like completely shuts off. And it's just like, why are you doing that for? Or it's just one, one randomly. It's kind of like how I see it, it's like a lottery. So when you update, it's a lottery, and the update will pick one thing on your computers to stop working. I had to get rid of a perfectly good keyboard because of an update. Now, I did tweet this at Windows saying, you know, your update has just broken my keyboard. And it was like, oh, we can help you. Just tweet us what the problem is. And they were really good for that. I must admit, they were really good for answering me back and up. But I was, because I was a bit mad at the time because everything just like near enough stopped working. I was like, no, no, don't worry about it. I just throw away, I just throw away my keyboard. <laughs> So, yeah, that was fun. Now, I thought it might have been the batteries or something, but I put two brand new batteries in my keyboard and it completely stopped working after an update. So I'm thinking, well, that's great. A brand new keyboard, there's nothing wrong with it. And because of this update that you gave Windows, my, com my keyboard's now completely disabled. I don't know what you did, but you've disabled my whole keyboard. Thanks for that. So I had to chuck it away and get a brand new one. So I hope that doesn't happen again. So it's just... It's, that's just ridiculous, yeah, you know, and then another time I think my Elgato stopped working and then, then another time I said my microphone stopped working and then another time my webcam stopped working when I did another update and I don't know if it's something to do with XSplit or something as well with the updates or well, it's, you know, not agreeing with XSplit but that's what I didn't work on anyway so it could be something to do with that but I'm unsure I think the only thing that didn't work um, on XSplit and also just in general was my keyboard I think it just my when the update happened, my keyboard was the main thing that didn't work on anything. So it's not just XSplit; it's actually on Windows itself as well. But you know, updates are supposed to help you, not confuse you or just disable equipment. You know, that's just ridiculous. Now we go on to the console um, update. See, the console update, the same thing as a PC. You know, it's supposed to update. Yeah, and it gives you a, dash, a dashboard that. Um, you know, it's supposed to be better better to navigate through. No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> the thing is, when you finally get used to the Xbox 360 or Xbox, Xbox One dashboard, they change it. And you're like, for God's sake, I've literally just got used to this and you've just changed it. Why? Now, I don't know if it's because of the community. You're saying, oh, can you change this because it's very hard to navigate, blah, blah, whatever. It could be something to do with listening to the fans and that's probably why they've done it. But I swear one year, when I was on my 360, they updated the dashboard like five times in one year. And it was just frustrating because you just got used to it again. And then they would change it again with another update. I was like, what the hell's wrong with you? You know, it was all right as it is. If it wasn't perfect before, then why did you release it like that in the first place? You know? It's... <laughs> oh my god, it's like, these updates are supposed to help. They're not helping. You're not helping! <laughs> Oh my god, it's just ridiculous. It's that the updates are supposed to help you and they don't. It's like, got used to the, dash the Xbox 360, Xbox One dashboard, and then you just, 
<laughs> he just, it doesn't help. That's all I can say. It just does not help. I don't know what you're thinking. You know, if, if it wasn't, if it was hard to navigate through the Xbox One and 360 before, it's going to be even harder now because people just got used to it and you've just changed it again. Oh my God. And then the third thing is um, games. Like, now, this is a 50-50 sort of thing. Like, when they update a game, it's annoying as hell. Because sometimes it could take ages, especially with the Xbox One, I think. It just takes ages for the update. It's like, do you really need this big of an update? Is there that of a, is that big of a bug that you have to make a massive update? Because it just takes ages. It takes freaking ages to, like, update a game. The same with installing the game in the first place. It takes freaking ages, especially with Xbox, which I see no point of whatsoever. You know, what is the point of that? So your hard drive gets full quicker, so you have to buy a you know, two terabyte hard drive externally. Yeah, good job. Anyway, but yeah, updates for games, you know. It takes ages to update a game as it is, and it takes away kind of a good thing because sometimes, okay, there might be a bug which is bad, you know, and they've got to update it, that's fair enough. But when, you know, like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I've probably dropped Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild mostly in these rankings more than any other game, but it's just my good example. Um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, they've got like glitches where you can farm like arrows and bomb arrows and farm stuff, right? I think that's a good idea. I mean, why not keep the glitch in there? You know, it's not har harming anyone. It's not like on an online game where you're going to use the farming to your advantage, you know? I think they should should keep like stuff like that in the game, you know, like even after the update. But, you know, it's just ridiculous. As I said before, like, okay... Yeah, they need an update because of whatever, and there might be a bug or issue, which is fair enough. But just to have an update, just to get rid of a glitch, um, you know, which is kind of good. Yeah, I didn't, I don't like that. But then again, like it's your game, your, you know, your update, do what you want. But still, did that, that update didn't really need to be that big. You know, it, it just feels like they're doing it deliberately to fill up your hard drive, so you have to get another memory card or an external hard drive as well. And it's just like, are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. So, but yeah, guys, and that's all I've really got to say on those subjects. Um, let me guys know what you think in the comments. Um, this may be my last ranted for a while, because one, I've run out of content, really. I don't know what else to um, do for another ranted. And also, uh, the last ranted that I did, there wasn't many comments before. Now, um, I don't mind that there was no comments, but it looked like ma it looks like maybe this uh, ranting has got a bit boring for you guys. It's entirely up to you. You know, I can continue if you want, and if you want me to continue, then I, I would um, encourage you guys to comment as much as possible, so I can put comments of you guys uh, in the ranted. Um, but I know reading your comments is out now on my channel, so you probably guys will comment more on that than you will on the ranted now, which is understandable. And you can do you guys can do what you want, really. But um, I've run out of content anyway because I don't know what else to do. I said the only uh, rented, the rented, rented, the only rented I'm doing is the ones that I've had experienced myself and some that were from online. I don't want to do like drama stuff or like attack another YouTuber or anything like that. I'm not like that. I just want to do like gaming wise sort of stuff and technology. So guys, if you know any gaming stuff for me to have rented on, or any um, technology stuff, base stuff you want me to um, do, then let me know. Because then I'll do some more ranted on it and get more content. Because I know you guys love ranted, I think. <laughs> but I know um, it's not as popular as reading your comments now. So, But yeah, uh, that's my thoughts on it, guys. And yeah, just let me know. And uh, if you've got any gaming stuff you want me to rant about, um, then let me know. So, alright, take care, guys. Bye.